I for the characters I used the Human Generator add-on, and for clothing creation I used Marvelous Designer. If you're interested in the workflow between them, check out the tutorial on the right top. The Ronin swords and headband were both modeled in Blender, but you can also find free models on Sketchfab. Link is in the description. This is the second tutorial about Stylized Asset Suite. I recommend watching the first one first to get basics. Alright, let's get started. Before using the effects, we need to create a new material and get a base color. The cool part is that there is an option to import a base texture within the base color. So if our models already come with base color maps, we can use it here. As you can see, the character from Human Generator has materials which can be seen in the stylized asset suite panel, but effects cannot be directly added to these materials. What I do is delete the original material, then create a new one, and choose Import Base Texture under Base Color using my desaturated texture. However, after loading, you might notice the model turns completely black. This happens because when we remove the skin material, the default hair material covers the whole body. Go to the texture properties, delete all hair materials first. Then the skin texture displays correctly. Afterward, just add back the deleted materials. The first effect we add is obviously the stylized 3D lighting main dynamic EV. With blend style set to step linea, you will see a very clear boundary line between light and shadow. Increasing the tune steps value will show more layers, which is a form of stylization. But I usually prefer linear, as it makes the transition between light and dark appear very natural. Choose whichever mode suits your needs. The highlight settings mainly adjust the illuminated side, while the shadow settings handle the backlit side. By changing their values, we can easily feel the changes in brightness and darkness. Next, I added a specular reflection effect, giving us highlights. Adjusting roughness changes the size of the highlight area and increasing steps can make the highlight transition smoother. If you don't want such round highlights, you can increase some distortion and adjust the scale of distortion for divided highlights. Then I added an interesting effect called stylized grunge. When I adjust its dark areas, it gives a bloodstain-like feeling, which is why I like it. Adding this effect to the character makes him look more menacing. Lastly, I usually add the edge detect effect. This is my favorite edge effect, and when you set spreading to max, the edges extend significantly, a stylization that fits my taste perfectly. Moving on to the clothes, as you can see, the effects used are not much different from those on the skin, just adjust according to the desired effect. This is what I love about Stylized Asset Suite, although it seems to have many effects. Once you understand what each does, they are easy to master. After finishing the clothes, rename the material for reusing them across different clothes. When applying the cloth material to the headband, I found the result odd, due to issues with the model's normal. Click the drop-down menu of overlays at the top right, activate face orientation, and you'd find parts of the mesh are red, indicating inverted normals. Enter Edit Mode, select these red parts, go to the top left corner, find Mesh, Normal, and click flip until everything shows blue, which means the problem has been solved. The katana's effects were covered in my previous tutorial. You'll find more stylized asset suite tricks there. I've already given the environment a sunlight. For localized lighting, the latest version of stylized asset suite includes a stylized point light, which is a great choice. Simply add it to any stylized material and it will affect reachable models. Note that non-stylized materials will also be affected, but their light colors need to be adjusted in the light properties rather than the stylized asset suite panel. 
Judging by the Ronin backlight, this effect light works well for localized lighting. The second character uses the same material effects. I won't repeat here. Finally, for the background, just click the Change Background, Color button under Background Settings. Usually, I only use the linear style, giving top and bottom different colors for a natural gradient. After purchasing Stylized Asset Suite, you will get the Windy Armature add-on for free, which, making hair movement quite simple. However, my character hair clearly don't need this, but I used it to animate clothes blowing in the wind. Basically, through simple clicks, you can animate rigged bones to simulate wind effects. The creator has made very detailed tutorials. Please refer to the description. Finally, I used Alt-Tab Easy Fog 2 add-on to add the fog to the scene, completing the entire process. Now, some small tips that may help. 1. Add the necessary lights first and observe all effects in the rendered window since lighting changes a lot. Adding lights or not can result in significant differences to effects. The rendered window shows lighting effects, ensuring the final presentation of effects is as desired. 2. Add all wanted effects before fine-tuning each one. There is no need to spend a long time adjusting one effect before adding another. As the final outcome results from the interaction of all effects, add all desired effects swiftly, then fine-tune each to ensure their combined result. 3. When effects do not meet expectations, how do we identify the bad boy? Simply toggle their visibility on and off, observing before and after to naturally find the issue. Thanks for watching. More tutorials and valuable content are on the way. See you next time.